Caitlin Cargill. In 2017, dozens of people turned out for a vigil memorializing a poor soul in Bedford, Texas. The tears and pain on their faces portrayed how horrifying and perturbing the incident was. Many couldn't help but think what the world has lost. Bo Cargill and his wife Tricia West lived in Bedford, Texas, with their gorgeous 14-year-old daughter Caitlin Cargill. Caitlin was a charming girl who loved listening to music and was an incredible softball player. She had many friends at school and in her neighborhood and often played with them in the evening. But she was afraid of the dark and would return home before sunset. On June 18, 2017, Cargill went outside as usual to spend some time with her friends. She was walking her dog in the Oak Creek West Apartments in Bedford, where she lived with her family. That day, even after sunset, she didn't return home. Her mother, Tricia, began to worry because Caitlin would never stay outside that late due to her darkness phobia. At 8 p.m., Tricia and her husband, Bo, reported Caitlin missing. Police began to search for her, but Caitlin was nowhere to be found. They went to her friends' houses to know if they had any information regarding Caitlin's disappearance. They also went through Caitlin's text messages, revealing that she planned to go to the apartment complex swimming pool to meet Roch to obtain marijuana. One of the eyewitnesses was Caitlin's friend who was with her that day and said he saw Caitlin with 16-year-old Jordan Roach living in a nearby apartment, and she may be there. Police began to search Roach's house, there was no sign of Caitlin, but they found blood splattered on the curtains, walls, and different unit areas. Roach was arrested as the first suspect as it was expected that he may have kidnapped or tried to harm her. The search continued, and with every hour passing, the world had stopped for Tricia and Bao. Her mother's heart began to sink, and she felt like Caitlin was in grave danger. After 48 hours of search, a body was found in Arlington Dump in the Mosier Valley Road 800 Black. It was Caitlin lying lifeless. Her body was mutilated and in such a bad condition that it was arduous to determine what had just happened to her. Here in North Texas, more breaking news and new details from an arrest warrant walking through what police believe was the murder of 14-year-old Caitlin Cargill in Bedford last summer, or I should say last June. Cargill vanished in June. Her body found a few days later in an Arlington landfill. Police arrested a 16-year-old in this case. Officers believe Cargill met with the teen for a drug deal and might have been killed with a hammer. Police say they also found blood around an apartment where the suspect was staying. After a few days, the blood samples in Rochi's house showed that this was indeed Caitlin's blood. It was finalized that Caitlin was murdered with a hammer. The investigators found a hammer with blood on it in Rochi's apartment. According to Caitlin's friend, Roach instructed Caitlin to return to the Oak Creek apartment alone without the witness or her dog. The witness said Caitlin was supposed to participate in a marijuana change with Roach and his brother. I'm going to get the money, Caitlin told the witness. That day, Caitlin left the house at 5.30 p.m. with her friend and dog. Both were smoking marijuana together when Caitlin began to exchange text messages with Jordan Roach. Caitlin and her friend planned to use the marijuana to make dabs and then return the dabs to Jordan so he could sell them. When Caitlin went there as instructed, Roach came outside the apartment to receive her with another guy. Caitlin's friend stayed behind with the dog and waited for a while. Shortly after that, the friend watched as Caitlin ran away from Jordan and the unknown male. Once she met up with her friend again, she explained that she ran because Jordan and the unidentified male had seen the friend watching them. Caitlin decided to try and meet up with Jordan again about an hour later. This time, Caitlin and her friend walked Caitlin's dog to a local dog park. Once there, Caitlin left the dog with her friend while she walked back to Jordan's apartment complex. The friend expected Caitlin to return after a few minutes. Unfortunately, she never came back. Inside Roach's apartment, Caitlin argued with Roach that she doesn't want to get involved in any drug transaction. Roach tried to convince her, but Caitlin was not ready to put her hands on the dirty job despite being offered money. Roach was afraid that Caitlin might expose him or get him arrested. This angered Roach. He went to another room and came back with a hammer in his hands and started hitting the hammer on her head and face. <coughs> Caitlin's friend was waiting outside for her to return. He stayed for a while and then tied her dog to a tree and played basketball at the park's basketball courts. After 30 minutes passed without Caitlin's return, 
the friend decided to go home. After reaching home, the friend sent Caitlin a text message to ask if she was okay. After the texts went unanswered, the friend decided to return to the dog park. By that point, Caitlin's mother had already gone to the park to look for her and the dog. Caitlin's mother reported her missing shortly after that. The hammer blows instantly killed Caitlin, and she died between 6 and 7.30 p.m. that evening. The Tarrant County Medical Examiner ruled the girl's death was caused by homicidal violence. Jordan Roach admitted killing Caitlin Cargill on June 19, 2017, and dumping her body at an Arlington landfill, where she was found two days later. Roach was 16 at the time of the slaying and had been certified to stand trial as an adult. For years, Jordan Roach denied revealing any information regarding Caitlin's murder. Roach was requested to serve 10 years in prison for first-degree murder as part of the plea. He has been incarcerated since his arrest in 2017 and will be registered as a lawbreaker. In court, Caitlin's mother, Tricia West, said Roach brutally beat my daughter, terrorized and tossed her away like trash, a fate no human deserves, and especially not Caitlin. It has been five years since Caitlin left the world. Tricia says her pain is indescribable. She wants the murderer to get a painful end so he would realize how he has hurt the family and changed their lives forever. Unfortunately, Caitlin would never return in any case, but her beautiful smile would always remain in our hearts. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content. In behind my balcony, I heard no yells, I heard no helps, no nothing. We all have children and we all have friends and we know the pain that they're feeling is unbearable. And so at this time, we're just gonna come together and support them from afar and let them feel the love and just keep lifting them up. And right now it's easy to be here, but we need to continue to be here even when this is gone in 10 days and 10 months, just keep supporting them and showing the love and just praying for them and doing whatever you can. Uh, we posted a GoFundMe link and that'll be posted later and let's get funds coming in to help give this little girl the burial that she needs. And it just breaks my heart. Nobody deserves this. She had her whole life ahead of her. Was gone.